Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs again and today in our series about what every maker should have uh, we'll take a look at the theme of uh, pin straightening ICs, IC insertion and IC extraction and I've collected uh, some tools that we use here in the lab more or less regularly and some of them are also available at our shop and in the, the end let's discuss which of them are really useful and uh, which are perhaps missing. Now let's start with the theme of uh, pin straightening ICs. I think uh, you, whenever you, you uh, got a new IC you recognize that the uh, pins are somewhat bent outwards and that they don't fit uh, first of all into a IC socket. Now there are of course several methods how you can straighten up the pins. Uh, you could bend them by hand but that's of course not very uh, exact. You could use some pliers to um, bend them uh, inwards but uh, it's already a better method but uh, also not very uh, exact. And uh, there are two really easy uh, tools to do this. The one on the left here is, uh, as you might see, we have it here in the lab, we are using it already for decades. Uh, it's quite expensive and this model, as far as I found out from Google, is uh, no longer available. So uh, you have, as you can see, for the different uh, pin distances of the ICs, you have different rails and you just... Uh, uh, put them uh, as, uh, through uh, the rails and uh, uh, you can adjust uh, the, the pressure and the exact distance here of the rollers and then they fit 100% exact into the IC socket but uh, you get similar models of uh, this one uh, today but they are quite expensive and at home and even here mostly in the lab we use this little pin straightener. It has two sides for the 0.6 uh, pin distance and on the other side for the uh, 0.3 uh, pin distance. And let's bend the pins out again to see how it works. And um, so th this is again around the state or about the state how an IC comes and you just press them uh, once or I, I'll usually make it that way. It's better to press them two or three times and as you can see they, the IC, now again fits neatly into the socket. So that was the first task and this little tool as I mentioned is available uh, in our shop because I think it's uh, uh, the cheapest method to get a, a semi-professional uh, result. You even have a little screw for um, for grounding uh, with a uh, wristband or uh, uh, connecting it directly to uh, earth or ground uh, if you are in an ESD sensitive area. So uh, that's the first part. Now how do we professional uh, get the ICs out. Of course mo most people use a little screwdriver to extract uh, the IC out again uh, but um, if you are not 100% exact uh, then the pins usually bend a little bit and uh, that's not the best method. Um, the easiest method is this little cheap tool uh, uh, it works from a 40 pin uh, dip socket ICs to 8 pins just by twisting it a little bit and the method is that way and uh, you can pull uh, the ICs out without any problem and without any pin bending. And as you could already see there's a similar tool which I bought well I don't know 10 years ago uh, as far as I could find in Google, well I did not find it in Google anymore, it doesn't seem to be available anymore. Um, it, it has little uh, springs here 
and uh, I use it uh, quite heavily at home in my uh, lab. Uh, it works with the same uh, principle as the uh, as the simpler model. But anyway, uh, this one is fully sufficient, and uh, once you get one. Um, it will last for years and it just costs a few dollars. Now, uh, last task is how to uh, insert the uh, IC. Well, I don't have, uh, I haven't found uh, the perfect uh, tool for this. There are also uh, these uh, combined little uh, clips um, which can be used for uh, extraction and insertion. You see this one is, is basically built for 24 pin ICs, but of course it also works uh, with 28 pin ICs. Uh, the advantage is um, because uh, these uh, little tabs here, uh, they keep the distance of the pins e exactly. So uh, you usually no longer have a problem with that uh, an IC bends in or out uh, or to the left or to the right while inserting it and uh, they can be used uh, as I mentioned for insertion and extraction but when you insert it this way uh, the IC is only uh, is not fully uh, um, placed in in the IC socket you still have to press it downward again and now, depending on how deep it is, you can also extract it that way. But you need a little space here. Uh, so depending on the kind of IC socket, uh, you cannot get here these little tabs under the uh, IC. Uh, so extraction is not always possible with these clips. They are, of course, available in, in different size, sizes for the different uh, IC pin numbers. And uh, what I'm not very happy with is this, this tool that you uh, can find uh, on, uh, in electronic stores or at eBay. Uh, it, it works from around 14 pin uh, dip ICs to, I don't know, 28 or yeah, 28 should be the largest. So it's, it's, you can't use it for a very small uh, ICs and you cannot obviously use it for 40 pin ICs. Well, anyway, it works, uh, but it's not the best one. So um, that's why to, to come to a conclusion, that's why uh, we have these at, at the moment when this uh, video is made. We have uh, these two tools uh, available in our shop because they are uh, the most used ones by me and my colleagues here at the lab. And uh, if you are interested or if you think this one is also a good idea, we could add uh, a, a collection with different, with the different pin sizes to our shop. Just tell us what you think about. And also I'd like to hear your opinion about uh, this one. I personally don't like it, but if you would like to see it in the shop and think it's, it's the right tool for you, then uh, please leave us a note in the, in the comments, uh, comments uh, or uh, at our forum. And of course, uh, we are open and very interested in suggestions from you. Uh, if you know about other tools that are readily available that we can, that are perhaps even uh, better or which are an alternative to these ones. And um, if they are really uh, good, then uh, we'll, we'll add them in our shop. So thanks for listening. Um, join us in the forum and uh, leave your comments down below. And see you next time. Bye from Kanka Labs.